Today, we shine a spotlight on a troubling pattern of behavior by the Chicago Police Department, specifically focusing on Sergeant Dolan, badge number 1779, and his officers. This narrative unveils three egregious instances where Sergeant Dolan and his team prioritized the interests of the cult of Scientology over the First Amendment rights of peaceful protesters. So, to help solve the chalk problem here, we've got three officers. We don't want to waste resources in Chicago, and this is the example of us not raising resources. <laughs> sir, excuse me, sir, Mr. Dolan, Officer Dolan, Officer Dolan, a citizen of your uh, of your community is asking a question. Are you choosing not to engage? I don't. So, a Chicago police officer choosing not to engage with a taxpaying citizen but he's gonna go and be the lapdog of this non-taxpaying organization that child traffics, human traffics, uh, doesn't allow women to report sexual abuses to the police if the, the person that committed the uh, crime is one of their members. Danny Masters is in jail right now for 30 years to life and the church would not let his members come forward or his victims come forward for 20 years. We need to grab people's attention to what they actually are selling here. Oh God, we have police already. We have police already. I guess I'm not going anywhere. Is his body cam on if he goes in? He must feel real good about doing his job. Yeah, he's taking everything. He says it's a city ordinance. She can't even put rocks down to hold it. He's going to do their bitch work. He's going to wash it off for them. He's to know that they abuse young children look at what that says look at what that says you're doing their work for them is this the job of the chicago police really this is your job for real proud proud so proud so so proud of you i'm proud of you 
You're doing a great job today. I bet you there's real crime. See, I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh yeah, no tape. Uh, we'll take the shit out of our clothes. You can. Well then, I'll shut up. Right? Name and serial number. Ser Dad's number? Oh, they don't give us serial number. Serial number. Oh. We've seen this gentleman. Okay, hang on. Don't put it down. <laughs> You guys, if my camera's shaking, it's because I literally am. So because of the anxiety that this causes. Um, I'm doing better than last time. <laughs> I'm doing better than last time, Pops. Oh, Pops, get up. in there and get that. I can't zoom. I, don't, I can't zoom on StreamYard, though. Sergeant Dolan, 1779. Proud of you today, dude. Proud. You did a great job. You got good pay for that one. You prevented a lot of crime today. Prevented a lot of crime with that bucket of water. That was awesome. Good job, dude. Good job. The brave and true. The brave and the true. Yeah, the, the Choctology is confusing to me, right? So, like many things in Chicago, Trashy was first. And the cops said, yeah, no problem. Trashy and SRA were out here. The cops came, said, yeah, there's nothing hateful in there. Have at it. Uh, then I came down one Sunday and was putting chalk down. And the police said, uh, it's fine. Let him. So. I'm not going to write anymore. The police are claiming that they have to take this off. Illegal. Yep. Well, he didn't use the word illegal. He said, you know, you can't do that. And no, I don't. So I'm going to go ask the cop about Xenu. And I'm going to get a bat name and badge number. Yep. I, I'm sure it's Dolan. It's Dolan, but I'm going to get the name and badge number. We'll watch the cop then try to flee. Can I have your name and badge number, sir? What? Can I have your name and badge number? What? So this is the cop being clever, right? The cops are so silly in this town that they can't do it. So we already know it's Dolan, but he refuses to acknowledge me. Because I'm a public uh, person trying to get do a news story, and I'm wondering why you're being called out. Yep. Then why are, you, why are you so ashamed to say it? But you won't. No, I, I'm Sergeant Dolan, 1779. You already know that, though. 1779. Uh, can you get out of the street before you get hit? Did, is that what you told the gentleman that was just here? Yeah. Uh huh. I'm going to record, I'm going to get your body camera on that. So we're going to see that he just lied because he just told me that he also told the Scientologist, you know, the people that pay him, that he told him to get out of the street, too. <laughs> 